Here's a study of the Good South Field, looking for supernovae. A team, using web data, has identified 10 times more supernovae in the early universe than were previously known. The team analyzed imaging data, obtained as part of the Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES for short. In all, they uncovered around 80 supernovae in a patch of sky about the thickness of a grain of rice held at arm's length. Prior to Webb's launch, only a handful of supernovae had been found above a redshift of two. That's 10.4 billion light years away. The Jade sample contains many supernovae that exploded even further in the past, with redshifts up to 3.6, 1.5 billion light years further away. To discover the supernova, the team compared multiple images taken up to one year apart and looked for sources that disappeared or appeared in those images. These objects that vary in observed brightness over time are called transients. The team is trying to identify whether distant supernovae are fundamentally different from or very much like what we see in the nearby universe. Of particular interest are standard candle type 1A supernovae used to measure the expansion rate of the universe. We covered this in the How Far and How Old video books. The question is, do type 1A supernovae at high redshifts have the same intrinsic brightness regardless of distance? This is critically important because if their brightness varies with redshift, they would not be reliable markers for measuring the expansion rate. The team identified one at a redshift of 2.903. The light from this explosion took 11.5 billion years to reach us. The previous distance record was 1.2 billion light years closer. This new JD supernova showed no evidence that type 1A brightness changes with redshift. So, for now, type 1A supernova based theories about the universe's expansion rate and its ultimate fate remain intact.